Having produced films myself, I had to do this one. Let's do famous movie character watches. The Omega Speedmaster cemented its legacy as the first watch to be worn on the moon during the Apollo 11 mission in 1969. That is, if we went there. <laughs> Since then, it has been a staple in every astronaut's uh, equipment kit for all NASA missions. The Speedmaster made history in April 1970, also uh, a moment famously depicted in the famous movie uh, in 1995, released in 1995, Apollo 13, directed by one and only Ron Howard and starring Tom Hanks. Great movie, cool watch. Legend. Now this Speedmaster is slightly different from the one in the movie uh, because years have gone by and it has been updated. The model that is uh, and the spaceships as well. So that's the closest I've got in stock now from uh, the reference to Apollo 13 movie watch. Arnold Schwarzenegger, during his peak box office success in the 90s, collaborated closely with Automar's PGA design team to create the Royal Oak Offshore End of Days. This is the closest one I got to that exact watch. Uh, this striking all black timepiece uh, with yellow accents became iconic when uh, Mr. Schwarzenegger wore it in the supernatural thriller of the same name. And in the film, if you remember, he stars an alcoholic as an alcoholic ex-police detective who must prevent Satan disguised as a banker from fathering the Antichrist with a young woman before the Millennium's New Year Eve. Uh, I remember that year as well. A plot just as intense as it sounds. So yeah, if you're into, uh, you know, movies and the great ex-California governor, check out this watch. This is the closest model I've got in stock to the one worn in the movie, but nevertheless, pretty cool, huh? Founded in Florence in 1860, Panerai was primarily known for supplying military dive watches to Italian Navy throughout the 20th century, remaining relatively obscure to the general public. However, the brand uh, surged to mainstream popularity after Sylvester Stallone wore the, a Panerai Illuminor Marina in the lead role in his movie um, Daylight. According to a watch industry legend, Stallone discovered the watch at an Italian retailer while filming in Rome. So he was so captivated by its robust military aesthetic that he ordered additional 200 pieces directly from Panerai, each engraved with a signature on the case back to gift to cast and crew members. That's pretty awesome. By the way, these rare and collectible Luminor models are now famously known as Slytex. Not this exact one, but close enough. The Luminor is distinguished by its sandwich style dial with stencil like hour markers, a stately cushion shaped case, and the patented crown protecting the bridge here that ensures the screw down crown's water resistance. This feature is also dramatically showcased in the film when Stallone's character is trapped in a collapsed flooding tunnel. Now, with this one, I've got the exact watch. If you're a fan of James Bond, you'll recognize the Omega Seamaster 300M from the 1995 film Golden Eye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> this watch marked the transition from Rolex to Omega as Bond's timepiece of choice. So in the film, Pierce Brosnan wore the quartz-powered Omega Seamaster 300M professional reference uh, 254180. Uh, the iconic watch is also renowned for its scallop bezel, blue wave pattern dial, and skeleton hands. The Seamaster 300M played a crucial role in the film's plot. Equipped with several uh, hidden features, including a laser, a compass, and a detonator. So Bond used these features to accomplish his mission and ultimately defeat the villain uh, Alec uh, Trevelyan. That's for you movie buffs out there. I have to say, personally, I wasn't a big fan of this watch, but it's growing on me. 
Now it's one of those cases where you just really have to see the watch in person and, and put it on your wrist and see. And this watch is making me sort of feel that I'm ready to go on a secret mission. And look at this dial and you got 007 here in red. Look at that. Look at the special engraving here, 007. As long as this watch doesn't come with the detonator, I'm good. I like it. I like it more and more. Let's look here also, 007. I like the texture of the box. I like this combination of gold and navy blue. Let's open this up. Wow. So you see, it's not often that a watch already comes with a second strap. So you got an option here. We can keep the original or we can go with this strap right here that comes with it. So that's your extra strap. What a box. And this is an experience. Put this on your tie. <laughs> now let's see what else comes with it. So you can see what makes it even more special is that only 7,007 watches these Bond models have been made. And this is number 5,450. Omega Commander's watch. Nice booklet. And of course the operating instructions. I'm trying to find some secrets here. I feel like I'm on a mission now to find if there's anything else, but I think that is more than enough. That is plenty. What an experience with this box. Beautiful. What an experience with this watch, with this box. It feels like you're ready to go on the mission. Yeah, I am more than pleasantly surprised feeling it, looking at it, and just experiencing it. So if you want to, you know, get a piece of James Bond legacy, this is it. If you enjoy this new themed section, then uh, drop a comment below. And as Schwarzenegger would say, I'll be back with more watches that famous movie characters wore. Mix here saying goodbye with big watch buyers. Till next time.